So this video is gonna be a little different. As you can see, this is a trading view, Bitcoin versus US dollar. So I'm gonna show you these uh, indicators that I use uh, when doing a little bit of trading and more so into the crypto DeFi space right now, as you can tell by the rest of my channel. But I do uh, occasionally get into this. So I have this on the 30 minute chart, first of all. Um, so right under, you can see here the CE, that is chandelier exit. So I'm gonna show you. So you go here to the indicators and it's right here by Everget. It's that first one right there. That's the one I use. And then of course the MACD, as you can see, so go back here, MACD. So that's that. I actually really like that one, but you gotta pair it with, it's okay on its own, but it's not the greatest. Um, Cause you wanna eliminate every possibility of a false signal. Um, so I find that the RSI, uh, adding that on uh, 25 and 100 is best. So how I do it, let's see if I can get this. Okay, so let's go here. So you can see here, there's a buy signal here, right? But so MACD, so this cross right here, the blue and the orange, the blue under and then went up and over the orange. Also the histogram here changed to green, that's fine. Um, but RSI 100 and 25 did not cross. So. I mean, if you would have kind of waited a little bit over here, you could have bought and rode up to there. Um, and I mean, this is a 30 minute chart. You can put it on the 15 minute chart, the four hour chart. Um, this is just kind of where I have it right now. So when the, this is a lot of like, you can see I mean, it's uh, 30 minutes. Um, when the RSI 125 cross and the MACD right here crosses as well. That's a solid signal. So as you can see right here, there's a cross and a change in the histogram to green, but there's also a cross here in the RSI 125. So that is a solid signal. So you would have got in on this candle right here, and then you could have rode to the top there. Um, and then this one, right there so a little early then it went sideways for a bit and then right here so no um crossing with macd but you have a very big cross right here and a downward of the rsi 25. so the pink goes down across the black and then tanks as you can see when what happened here so then this is a little bit of sideways stuff. Um, let's go back. Everyone watches and does obviously charting differently. So, I mean, do your own research and stuff, but this is just kind of what I look at. So as you can see in this line here, we have a buy signal and we have a cross with the MACD. The blue is going up through the orange and goes up. We have a change in the histogram color to green. We also have the RSI 25 and 100 crossing right down here as well. So it's a solid buy signal. So you would have went here, you could have gone to here. It just depends on your trading strategy. Um, let's go five minutes. So it depends on the swing, the big swings that you want to take. Like in Bitcoin, I have this set to Canadian. Um, this is down here, the buy signal would have been at 49 and a sell signal at like 51. So it all depends on your strategy and uh, how you're doing it. Um, let's just go. Depends on how much day trading or swing trading you're doing as to what signals you're gonna use, but I'm gonna stick with the 30 minute chart. So let's go here. So again, a buy signal, you have the MACD, MACD 
cross and the histogram goes green and then you have a cross right there I think of the yellow or the oh goodness the pink and the black RSI 100 and the 25 yeah 125 and they cross so you could have bought and then wrote that this just gives you a better chance at eliminating false signals um, so say you were to use just the MACD or just the RSI, you could be getting false signals uh, and be holding until you can uh, get out of the position you're in. Um, so yeah, right here, solid sell, and then tanks, and then a little bit of sideways stuff there. So a buy, yep, yep, cross, yep, and then across with the RSI. So these are just the three indicators, and I'll list them down below that I use. Um, again, everyone's different. Uh, let's go. So there's the Matic. So when in doubt, I mean zoom out always. So in here, you have across the MACD, and this is Matic in the US dollar, um, but you don't have a cross down at the RSIs. So uh, you kind of have to make a decision there, but you do have, no, see no cross. So just do your own research and um, these are just the three indicators that I use like I said it's uh, day trading swing trading is uh, crazy crazy I'm just pretty much in DeFi uh, right now and letting my crypto grow with some super high APYs as you can tell uh, I'm not really focusing on day trading at the moment but yeah, I'll leave these down below and uh, I'll see you in the next one and go out and make some money.